Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the 0x0000007C error on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to check for Windows 11 updates. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane scroll down until you find the Windows update section and click on it. Now on the right side make sure to click on the blue check for updates button and Windows will find the best possible updates for your PC. After installing the updates just restart your PC and then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run the printer troubleshooter. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane click on system and afterwards on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot section and select it. Now click on other troubleshooters and lastly make sure to click on the run button next to the printer section. Windows will now detect any problems and fix them as soon as possible. You can also restart the print spooler service. To do this press the Windows button then simply type services.msc and select it as an application from the search results. As you can see in here the list is quite big so if you want to find a specific service click on a random one then type the letter that corresponds to the service you're looking for. In our case P from print spooler. Now just scroll down until you find the print spooler, right click it and select the restart option. This will restart the service, then you can restart the PC and check if the problem still persists. Another great solution is to reinstall the printer's driver. To do this right click the Windows button then select device manager from the list of options. Now in the device manager window make sure to expand the print queues section and afterwards just right click the problematic device and select the uninstall device option. Now just confirm again by pressing on the uninstall button and then the device will uninstall. Later on if you want to reinstall the device just make sure to click on the action tab and then select the scan for hardware changes option. This will reinstall the problematic device and then you can restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to remove and add the printer again. To do this press the Windows button then simply type control panel and select it from the search results. Now in here under the hardware and sound section make sure to click on the view devices and printers category. Scroll down until you find the printers section and make sure to right click the problematic printer and select the remove device option. Afterwards just click on the add a device tab and make sure to proceed with the on screen instructions to add a new device. Later on just check if the problem still persists. And lastly another great solution is to remove the KB56674 update. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane scroll down until you find the Windows update category. In here on the right side make sure to click on update history and afterwards scroll down until you find the uninstall updates category and select it. Now simply find the KB56674 update and make sure to click on the uninstall button. Afterwards just restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.